Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, I will discuss multiplication and division of rational expressions. Recall that a rational expression is a ratio of two polynomials with a denominator that is not equal to zero. It is defined for all values of a variable except those that will make the denominator be equal to zero. So in symbol, this can be written as P over Q, where Q should not be equal to zero. In multiplying and dividing rational expressions, the same rules apply as with basic fractions. For multiplication, we will multiply numerators, multiply denominators, then express the product in lowest terms. In symbols, say A over B times B over C, where A, B, and C are polynomials. Product is given by AB for the numerator, BC for the denominator, or A over C when simplified, since B can be cancelled out. Also, it is important that you know different factoring methods for it will be used in simplifying phase. Moreover, cancellation method can be used in multiplication and division of rational expressions. For our first example, Determine the product when the rational expression 4x squared y over z squared is multiplied by 5z cubed over 8x cubed y. Again, we need to multiply numerators 4x squared y times 5z cubed, that is 20x squared yz cubed, for the denominator z squared times 8x cubed y, is 8x cubed yz squared. Thus, the initial product is 20x squared yz cubed over 8x cubed yz squared. Now, we need to simplify the rational expression. 20 and 8 has a common factor of 4. Simplifying it will become 5 over 2. For variable x, x squared divided by x cubed so you need to recall quotient of power rule. That will be 1 over x. So for variable y, it will be cancelled out. Then for variable z, that is z cubed over z squared. Or simply z. Hence, the product is 5z over 2x. Another way of solving this, which I find easier, is by cancellation method. Take note that this can only be applied if there are common terms in both the numerator and the denominator. So using the first example, 4x squared y over z squared times 5z cubed over 8x cubed y. Here we can simplify 4 and 8 since both are divisible by 4. 4 will become 1, 8 will become 2. For variable x, x squared is the common factor. So, numerator x squared will be 1, x cubed will become x. We divide the terms by their common factor. Variable y will be cancelled out. z cubed divided by z squared will be z. Thus, the product is 5z over 2x. For our second example, 2ab minus 4a all over 5 times 10 over b minus 2. Here, observe that the numerator of the first rational expression has a common factor of 2a. That could be written as 2a times quantity b minus 2. Using cancellation method, quantity b minus 2 will be cancelled out. 10 and 5 has a common factor of 5. 10 will be 2. 5 will be 1. Thus, for the numerator, we have 2a times 2 or 4a. For the denominator, that is 1 times 1 or simply 1. Hence, the product when 2ab minus 4a all over 5 is multiplied by 10 over b minus 2 is 4a. For our third example, what is x squared minus 2x minus 3 all over 2x minus 10 times x squared minus 10x plus 25 all over x squared minus 9. Solving this example, we need to get the factors of each rational expressions. For x squared minus 2x minus 3, its factors are x minus 3 and x plus 1. 
for the denominator 2x minus 10, factors are 2n quantity x minus 5. For x squared minus 10x plus 25, since it is a perfect square trinomial, factors are quantity x minus 5 and x minus 5. Then for x squared minus 9, that is difference of two squares, factors are quantity x minus 3 and quantity x plus 3. Here, notice that x minus 3 and x minus 5 can be cancelled out since those are both factors in the numerator and denominator. Now, for the numerator, we have remaining factors of x plus 1 and x minus 5. Denominator, 2 times quantity x plus 3. Hence, the product is x squared minus 4x minus 5 all over 2x plus 6. For our fourth example, Determine the product when x cubed minus y cubed all over 2x plus 1 is multiplied by 10x plus 5 all over x squared plus xy plus y squared. So just the same with the previous examples, we need to factor out each rational expression. For the numerator of the first rational expression, since that is difference of two cubes, factors are quantity x minus y and quantity x squared plus xy plus y squared. Denominator of the first rational expression is no longer factorable. So going to the next rational expression, 10x plus 5 has a greatest common factor of 5. So its factors are 5 and quantity 2x plus 1. For the denominator, that will remain since it is no longer factorable. So here you see that 2x plus 1 and x squared plus xy plus y squared can be cancelled out. Thus, the product is 5 times quantity x minus y or simply 5x minus 5y. After multiplying rational expressions, we will now proceed to dividing rational expressions. So when performing this operation, we need to take the reciprocal of the divisor and then proceed to multiplication process. To illustrate, say the quotient of the rational expression A over B and C over D, where A, B, C, and D are polynomials, is given by AD over BC. As an example, determine the quotient when 4R squared minus 2R all over 3S plus 1 is divided by 2R minus 1 all over 9S squared plus 6S plus 1. So based on the rule, we need to get first the reciprocal of the divisor. In this example, that is 2r minus 1 all over 9s squared plus 6s plus 1. That will become 9s squared plus 6s plus 1 all over 2r minus 1. After that, we proceed to multiplication process. Again, factor first items which can be factored out to make computation easier. So, factors of 4R squared minus 2R are 2R times quantity 2R minus 1, 3S plus 1, and 2R minus 1 are already prime expressions, so those will remain as is. For 9S squared plus 6S plus 1, notice that it is a perfect square trinomial. So, factors will be quantity 3S plus 1 and quantity 3S plus 1. Now, as you can see, in the factors, we can eliminate quantity 2R minus 1 and 3S plus 1. So remaining expressions are 2R and 3S plus 1. Multiplying those will give a product of 6RS plus 2R. Thus, the quotient when 4R squared minus 2R all over 3S plus 1 is divided by 2R minus 1 all over 9S squared plus 6S plus 1 is 6RS plus 2R. Another example, divide 2x squared minus 50 all over x squared minus 10x plus 25 by 4x plus 20 all over x. Doing the previous steps, we will get the reciprocal of 4x plus 20 all over x or the divisor. It will be x over 4x plus 20. Next, we will get the factors of each rational expressions. For 2x squared minus 50, 
Factors are 2 times quantity x squared minus 25. GCF is 2. So notice that x squared minus 25 is still factorable. So for the numerator, prime factors are 2 times quantity x plus 5 times x minus 5. Now for x squared minus 10x plus 25, since it is a perfect square trinomial, Factors are quantity x minus 5 and quantity x minus 5. For 4x plus 20, its greatest common factor is 4. So the factors will be 4 and quantity x plus 5. So as you can see, x minus 5 and x plus 5 are both factors in the numerator and denominator. Thus, we can eliminate those expressions. Remaining terms for the numerator is x for the denominator 2 and quantity x minus 5. Hence, the quotient when 2x squared minus 50 all over x squared minus 10x plus 25 is divided by 4x plus 20 all over x is x over 2x minus 10. Thank you for watching. God bless.